what's going on everyone welcome to the rabbit mind youtube channel and today we're checking out the ryzen 9 7950x on the minotaur x algorithm so what's so special about the minotaur x algorithm this is what avian does currently use for its cpus it also has another chain for gpus that runs on a separate algorithm and avian you know it's probably not too profitable we'll take a look at profitability and everything based on our hash rates but I believe Minotaur X is going to get a lot more popular because if you're unfamiliar with Pulsar, it's going to be forking over to the Minotaur X algorithm fairly soon. So keep that in mind. It used to be on the curve hash algorithm, which was a super efficient algorithm for CPUs, but recently got dominated by GPUs with the release of the GPU miner wild rig. So now they are forking over and Minotaur X will be the CPU algorithm. And that is a great coin for CPU profitability once this does happen. Just like what we've seen with Varus Hash, I have not tested this out before on single sticks and two sticks and Expo profiles on and off. So I will be utilizing that. Currently, I just have a single stick of RAM inside of this, so I will be putting in two later on once we get some hash rates on the single stick to see if RAM does matter or not on the Minotaur X algorithm. And as I kind of mentioned before, we'll take a look at this. We'll go into AVN. We'll take a look at profitability and see what the numbers are looking like. But I more importantly am hoping for the fork of Pulsar so that we can actually get some legit numbers and know what we're doing in the future. All right, guys, here we are inside a Ryzen Master. Run through some quick settings here. So we got a 4.055 all-core overclock. We're running about 47 degrees. We're at 0 0.9 volts, and we're using about 140 watts at the wall. Let's take a quick peek at some hash rates. And it looks like about 25.6 kilo hash. Again, single stick of RAM here, so... Let's see what happens when we put in another stick and we'll keep that Expo profile turned off. All right, so I did put in two sticks of RAM now. We're hanging out at 47 degrees. We're still at our 4.055 all-core overclock, 0 0.9 volts. We're hanging out at about 152 to 153 watts at the wall. And for hash rates, we're at 25.4. I'm going to hit the button a couple times here. So 25.4, so two sticks of RAM didn't really do much. So we're gonna try XMP profile or Expo profile. We're gonna turn that on and overclock our RAM to its full 6,000 megahertz. See if we gain any performance gains, but so far it's looking like we might not. Okay, so I have two sticks of RAM in and we have Expo profile turned on. So we're running at 6,000 megahertz on the RAM. We're still at our uh, 4.055 all core overclock. 49 degrees we're running at right now for temperatures 0 0.9 volts and for hash rate we're rocking about 25.59 so again it's not looking like ram really has much of an effect on minotaur x algorithm let's turn this thing up to about 5.3 and see what kind of hash rate we can pull out of this all right guys so i got this cranked up to about 5.3 all core overclock 1.25 volts and we're hanging out at 105 or 105 degrees and it's still climbing so i gotta hurry up and see some hash rates before this thing melts on me so what do we got for hash rates here i better hit the button so we're doing about 32.97. I'll give it a couple minutes here. We're hanging out now at 106. Are we leveling out? No, we're still we're still heating up. 107. We're about to peak 107 here. Are we gonna do it? Yeah, 107. All right. So we'll do one more hash rate here before it melts. Hit H. All right, 32.84. We're going to go with the peak because the window is open at 32.97. We are using about 324 to 325 watts. That's pretty insane, but I better shut this miner down before we do melt something here. So where is my button? There we go. All done. Getting a little warm. Sorry. See you later. <laughs> All right, so let's just do a roundup of our numbers and then we'll take a look at some profitability of currently Avian. So 4.05 all core overclock, 0.9 volts, two sticks of RAM, Expo off, 142 watts at the wall, 25.41 kilo hash was our hash rate, 47 degrees on the CPU, and that's a hash to watt ratio of 178.943. And again, 4.05 all-core, 0.9 volts, two sticks of RAM with Expo on, 
we were using more power at 155 watts. We didn't really gain much hash rate here, 25.59 kilo hash, 49 degrees. So we were up on the temperatures and our hash to watt was 165.096. In green is our most efficient setting, 4.05 all core overclock at 0 0.9 volts. A single stick of RAM with Expo profile off is 140 watts at the wall, a hash rate of 25.6 kilohash, 47 degrees, and a hash to watt ratio of 182.857. And then we crank this thing up to 5.3 gigahertz all core overclock at 1.25 volts, a single stick of RAM as we found RAM is not doesn't really matter here. If we would have put in more sticks and put on Expo, we would have been using even more power, but single stick, Expo off, 325 watts at the wall, hash rate of 32.97 kilohash, and a temperature of 107 degrees and climbing. So it was still going up. I killed, I hit the kill switch before this thing melted itself. And then that is a hash to watt ratio of 101.446, which is obviously our least efficient setting. So we're gonna go to the profitability calculator on my website, rabbitmining.com. We're gonna punch in our most efficient setting as well as our most inefficient setting and see what profitability looks like on Avian. All right, so here I am, rabbitmining.com for our efficient hash rates, 25,600 hashes or 25.6 kilohash at 140 watts, 11 cent power, which is what I pay in USD. We are making 65 cents before power and 28 cents after power. So I'm actually surprised. I thought Avian was going to be in the negatives here, but it looks like it's profitable on a CPU, at least this 7950X. So awesome. That's so far every coin has been profitable, which is, you know, kind of bad because every GPU I have tried is not profitable. Now we're gonna come back up here, look at our inefficient settings. So if you have free power and maybe a super cooler, leave this thing outside in a snowbank, you may get away with it. So 32,970 hashes or 32.97 kilohash at 325 watts, 11 cent power. We're way down at the bottom here because we are in fact in the negatives now, but free power, you're actually making 84 cents per day with these settings. So you know, depending on power price, we may be able to drop this down. 10 cent power may actually be profitable here, even with that high setting. So, uh, yeah, where to go? Where to go? Where to go? All the way up. So, yeah, we're making six cents, even running highly inefficient here after power at 10 cent power. That's kind of interesting. So, pretty sweet. Another profitable coin, depending how you run your CPU. All right, guys, so that does wrap up this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Minotaur X testing with the 7950X. And the whole reason wasn't really to check out Avian profitability. It is to see how this thing does do on Pulsar once it does fork to the Minotaur X algorithm. I find it's going to be very interesting. I really did enjoy mining that coin before Wild Rig was released and then GPUs flooded the network. But that is changing and CPUs may get even more profitable once this fork happens. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.